Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming here to watch this video. If you guys are new, I hope that you will subscribe. And if you're an old subscriber and you're coming back for a new video, thank you so much for all of your support. We appreciate each of you guys. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a wash test on cotton t-shirts that I've sublimated using Litter HTV sublimation on cotton using glow in the dark HTV and then also a wash test on these fleece hoodies that I sublimated a couple weeks ago. I did have a few people asking us for a wash test on these fleece hoodies. They said they thought that this would definitely wash out of a fleece hoodie so I did want to show you guys a wash test on both of these hoodies and then like I said a wash test on the glow in the dark sublimation and then sublimation on the glitter vinyl. We also tried sublimating on white flocked vinyl and it did not work at all. We actually made that shirt for Rob and I did try to look through his clothes and find that shirt, but I cannot find it anywhere. But yeah, I did press very nicely, but after the wash, it basically washed all of it out. There was hardly any print left. So I definitely not recommend sublimating onto flocked vinyl, but I do recommend sublimating on glitter HTV and then also glow in the dark HTV. So guys, if you do enjoy this video, give me a big thumbs up. And also if you're new, be sure to hit that red subscribe button and let's get right into the wash test. I'm in our laundry room right now. It's not really our laundry room. It's like um, just a laundry space in our basement. If you guys have been watching us, we kind of have our work studio down in the basement and our laundry room is also down here. And it's kind of dark in here, so hopefully the reflection isn't too bad, but I am just gonna put this on auto sensing and I'm gonna go ahead and set this at warm. And over here, I'm just gonna wash it at a casual wash. I'm not gonna wash it on delicate or anything. I'm just gonna wash it regular, just like you would have your customer wash. So on casual and on the warm setting. And I want to try washing this with detergent, just like you would wash any other load. So hopefully none of this washes out. And I'm going to wash this all by itself. So we do have auto sensing on this washer, so it's only gonna fill it part way. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss this in and add some soap. I'm just gonna use a small amount of soap since it is only one t-shirt and start. And while that t-shirt is washing, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about sublimation on glow in the dark HTV and the wash test. And I also already washed both of these fleece hoodies. So I'm gonna show you guys an up close of all three of these right now. Since I've already washed them, I did wash them on warm and I did wash them with detergent. Let me take my phone off the tripod and I will show you guys the up close of these. Yes, I do actually still record on my phone. Let me go ahead and take this off of the tripod and I will show you guys the up close of these. I'm gonna start with this t-shirt right here. It is a heavy cotton Gildan t-shirt. It's 100% cotton. And this one is actually a peekaboo sublimation. And if you guys are wanting to learn to do this peekaboo sublimation, I do have a video that I will link down in the description, or you guys can just go to our channel and you will find this in videos. The material behind this peekaboo is actually the same material as this t-shirt. I just used an extra t-shirt, so it is also 100% cotton. This image is sublimated onto a glow-in-the-dark HTV. Obviously, when I take it into the dark, it does glow in the dark, and I wanted to show you guys that it is already washed. I'm gonna take you back into our laundry room, which is the darkest place in this basement. Hopefully, you guys will be able to see that on camera, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys into the dark and show you how it looks. Here's the tag up close. It says Gildan Heavy Cotton, and it says right there 100% cotton. I hope you guys were able to see that glow in the dark. I will recommend using glow in the dark HTV to sublimate onto 100% cotton t-shirts, especially if you don't mind a glow in the dark look. This is a Halloween shirt, so I do like it for this t-shirt. Came out really nice. It looks great even after a wash. So that is the wash test for the glow in the dark HTV. And now I will show you an up close of the fleece hoodies. So here's the purple one and I did expect it to not sublimate as well as this cream colored hoodie over here. But the colors weren't that bad. The Jojo Siwa logo came out perfectly fine. Here's the images on the pockets. This one over here didn't come out as well, but it wasn't terrible. If you guys watched the tutorial video when I sublimated these two hoodies, you guys saw how flat the hoodies got after I pressed them, which was expected, but I did want to show you guys them after I washed and dried them. They are back to being fluffy. But I still think it came out really nice and I let Selena already wear these to school. And here is the cream colored one. It did come out a lot nicer than the purple one. The logo came out really vibrant and it's still nice and fluffy and fuzzy. And here's this one up close. And then this one. This cream colored one is definitely my favorite one. I actually started editing this video and realized I didn't tell you guys where I got these hoodies. So I already know a lot of people are gonna ask me where I got these hoodies. So I did pick them up at Target. They were on sale when we picked them up. If you guys are looking for these exact hoodies, we did get them at Target. And here is the brand right here, All In Motion. 
Let me open up this cream one and see if it's the same brand. It probably is. The cream one is also the All In Motion brand from Target. Like I said earlier, I did have a couple people wanting to see a wash test. So hopefully you guys see this. If you guys do, let me know down in the comments what you guys think after the wash test. Now I am just waiting on that shirt to finish up in the dryer. While that is drying, I wanted to invite you guys to our Facebook group. It is called Sublimation Plus More for Dummies. So if you guys are wanting to learn sublimation or share your projects, your experience, or learn from other people, I will leave the link down in the description if you guys want to join. I am pretty good about accepting requests as soon as they come in. We would love to have you guys in our group if you are interested in learning more about sublimation. And finally, this shirt is washed and dried. As you can tell, it's not dried all the way, but I'm so tired of waiting on it to finish drying. Yeah, I'm just very impatient. Also, Selena wants to go play outside and she just got off the bus. So I just want to go ahead and finish up this video and get it uploaded. So here is what it looks like after being washed. I just wanted to do this wash test for you guys so you know what it looks like. Yeah, that is our wash test for sublimation on Glitter HTV. And the colors still look very vibrant and glittery. Definitely recommend sublimation on Glitter HTV. So I recommend sublimation on Glow in the Dark HTV and also on White Glitter HTV. They both turned out amazing and as you saw in the wash test, they are perfectly fine to wash. Colors are still vibrant. Like I said, Selena just got off the bus, so I do have to go ahead and go back upstairs and let her go outside. Every day after school, she likes to come home, eat a big snack, and then go outside for like an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video early. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Also subscribe if you guys are new and you wanna see more of our videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.